Hello and welcome to the Wood Sibling Gaming. Uh, this is I'm Nina. Don't start out like that, please. I want to start out with, um, on a more high note. Hey, what's up? We're about to do something. My name is Nina, and we are today. We're me and my little brother Eli are going to take you through the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, and we're gonna switch off occasionally. Tune in. I'm 15. Eli is. 12. And we're just going to be commentary, so probably going to end up being like 100 videos, but we're going to try to chop out as much as we can if we need to. You can pick up the microphone if you need to talk into it. Okay, then. Alright, start. So. Wait, shouldn't we have just started, shouldn't we have started before the cutscene started? Well, they don't need to see it. Well, yeah, but what if they're if trying If you're playing The Legend of Zelda yourself, I honestly don't think that you need help learning how to go through the cutscene, so. Press A when the little blue square appears. And hold, um, such as this. And hold B to make it go faster. Unless you're playing the Nintendo 64 version. In which case, we can't help you. Alright, well, we don't really know the controls of that. We have the, we own the, what just happened? I accidentally clicked up it. We own the collector's edition, so we Which is on GameCube, so we only know the GameCube controls. Okay, so, you're gonna have to bear, you're gonna have to bear with us because we, um, the, the computers are for, uh, the controls are for the computer, so it's a little bit more difficult to do, like, angles and, and stuff, so I might run into walls occasionally, but we'll get the hang of it as we go along. As with all games. And why does it keep doing that? Here's Link's first concubine. He has several. All the girls want Link. Leave me some old ugly in here. I'm trying to figure out. Apparently, I use C to go faster, but I'll just let you read it. Take your time. All right. So basically, we have just been told the graphics on this are great. They're yeah, it's really a little good. better than the GameCube version. Well, basically, the Cory Vert 4 starts out as just teaching you the controls. You yeah. go, you go around talking to random people, asking them, "How do I do this?" And unfortunately, you have to talk to them anyway, even if you don't want to know how to do it. This is my doll. That's what I call him. Cause I hate him. You know, his real name is Mido. Mido. Mudo. We don't know. What do we call her, Navy or Navy? Um, I like Navy because it reminds me, me, too. It reminds me of Navy Blue. Yeah, we generally call her Navy. We, we, me and Eli have both been playing this game since we were like six. And I did it without a walkthrough. Yeah, he did it without a walkthrough. I did it with one because I'm not cool. And I, you know what? I played it once, um, making Eli do most of the work. You do not need to know what date it is. I apologize. And I did it once. My computer's a little bit laggy. Um, he basically just told me to get a sword and shield. We're doing it on our laptop. We apologize if there's any pauses. Yeah, uh, it's, 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 it's difficult learning new controls, but, um, like I said. Okay, what do we press for up C? Oh, look! This is the first time Navy will ever summon you. Get ready for an endless loop of summoning. Navy is evil. I hate her. You press up on the C, um, stick, or button into talk to Navy, which we will probably do constantly. Or you can just ignore her and let her say, Hey! 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 hey I, I just listen. forgot. We have music in the background. Why is it not playing? Um, I think it doesn't play while while we're on. No, I, it stopped playing the music. That's weird. Oh, well. Nobody really wants to hear that anyway. They want to hear our commentary. Alright. No, they don't. They probably would rather hear the music. We'll have music in our next video, I promise. We're going to do this, and then I'm going to, um... I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna upload it, and then I'm going to get to the part where I, uh, where we start with the Deku Tree Temple, so. I'd really like to say that this game has some awesome graphics for an N64 game. Oh, yeah. And this is the simple part. This is getting the sword. The shield requires earning money, so let's go ahead and you can turn right and get the blue rupee. It actually probably won't be as good quality in the video as we see right now because we're recording it. And there comes a boulder. I'm gonna hide. Oh, wait, no. So, yeah, once you go in, turn, um, left, 
go all the way to the end, that might happen to you. Do not get hit by boulders. You know, whatever, and then, you know, it, it's the simplest maze you could possibly imagine. But I got lost in it the first time I played it, so I feel your pain if you do. It didn't take me this long to... Shut up. <laughs> Eli's a better gamer than I am, I'll admit. Well, in most of the games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eli, Nina's better in the cute games, like Cooking Mama. So. But I still love Zelda. Me and Eli are both avid Zelda fans. That's like our favorite. Okay, and Z is camera. Sorry. Yeah, yeah Z is... Okay, that's what Z's for. Oh, okay. There's another one. <laughs> We're sorry, it's just that the computer controls are so much more confusing than the GameCube controls. And <laughs> there goes another one. Where am I? As I said, this may be very simple and it's really hard to get lost. And that just, oh, found it. There you go. It's just, you know, climb the or crawl or whatever. Now we're going to get the shield. So, yeah. Shield time! Asian waffles! I don't know why Eli says so. a lot of things he does, but, you know, we just accept it. Alright. Uh, by the way, if you're a first-time Zelda-er, I I'm glad if you're a first-time Zelda-er that this is your game, because this got, gets, like, a perfect 10 on every gaming website ever. And it deserves it. It is an amazing game. And, um... This is a great way. And if you... It, like I said, if you're a first-time, or if you need help with the controls... There is no button to jump. You have to, like, walk off in a, a ledge, and it has to be a ledge with a corner. Like, I cannot jump off of this place right here because there's no ledge. So. We don't have any items right now. Remember, if you want to equip an item, you have to press start and then sw um, select it. Here, let's let press start. See if we don't have anything, but we can. The start? Yay! Start works. Okay. Yeah. There's your item menu. There's your equipment menu. Let's equip this. And so now we have a sword. Okay. Here's our quest status. We don't have any songs. We're going to save. Peace, good part, or medallion. Yeah, but we'll get to that later. And there we go. Look, we have a sword now, so we can cut leaves. That's pretty cool. No, it's not. Well, it's cool to me, because yesterday I had no idea how to use this. Big Ron sword breaks constantly. Don't get the Big Ron sword. But they don't know what that is. Yeah, it is yet, Eli, we assume. Yeah... I'm pretty sure that some people have already read a couple of walkthroughs by now. And just so you know, this is probably the way we really do talk when we play this game together. So, yeah. Except we don't really tell you the controls. But we do talk about it a lot. Yeah. Because we're just that geeky. But it's a good thing. And this is the only blonde Kokori you will ever see. Take a